Hello everyone, I am teacher April Neal Pettiford and we have remote learning coming up on April the 25th, 2022. On this remote learning day, it's gonna be an opportunity for children, our students, to take science outside of the classroom. And what better place to have a science classroom? Outside. So, we have two activities that we would like for our students to do with their family, with their parents. And one of the activities is called, What's on my sock? That's right, what's on my sock? Well, let me tell you about what's on the sock. Right here, we're gonna be doing a science experiment in which students will be learning about how seeds are planted and how seeds travel. So, on this science experiment, students will be taking a normal white sock and they will either put the sock on top of their shoe and do a nature walk through their yard and allow the seeds and whatever else is picked up on their sock to be a part of their investigation. Children will collect seeds or maybe even I seen little acorns, a brush or sticks. They're gonna be talking about the things that they're fine in their natural habitat. And they will investigate it by using a magnifying glass and also their natural eyes. So these are some seeds that I have found. And I would like to see some of the creative ways that students in my classroom and all the first grade classrooms will be collecting throughout their natural habitats. So again, let's take science outside of the classroom and into their backyards. Our second experiment that we're gonna be doing is called planting seeds. This is a plant that I have planted myself. It is actually a petunia. So I would like for students to plant a seed and observe the process of that seed over time grow into a plant. Also, after you plant the seed, I want you to actually take pictures of the plant that you have planted. And also I want you to take pictures of that sock walk. I wanna see those socks. I wanna see what you have collected. This is something that I have found also outside in a natural habitat. It's like a little pine cone. There's so much interesting things that you can find within your natural habitat. Remember, not only do people plant seeds, but animals plant seeds by tracking them on through their fur or through their feet. The wind has ways of tracking seeds, planting seeds. And I also want you all to just identify the things that you find on your sock walk. So again, I want you to share with me your findings and I want you to send it to my email address, all the pictures that you find. Send it to April Neal at 115.aneal at naha.com. I want to see your pictures. I want to see what you and your family discover on your sock walk. And also I want to see what you plant. So stay tuned. There's so much more to come here at Summit Creek Academy.